Understanding VDC Off-Light There are several cutting-edge features in modern cars that are built to keep you safer while driving, in which the Vehicle Dynamic Control VDC, Off-Light is one of these technologies, and is designed to increase traction. On the dashboard, the VDC light may illuminate if there is a problem with this system. Unless the car is stranded in snow or mud, it is advised to always keep the VDC off-light system on. It might also be possible to restart the system by pressing the VDC button once more. What is the meaning of the VDC off-light system? The dashboard's VDC off-light indicator light will be illuminated if the stability control system is not active. Which means it'll illuminate if there is a problem with either the traction control system or the anti-lock brake system. Nissan automobiles utilize a term called vehicle dynamic control that serves the same purpose as a traction control system. What does VDC off mean for Nissan vehicles? The VDC feature is available on all Nissan automobiles. All of the data, including speed, acceleration, steering wheel positions, etc., are read and monitored by the VDC system. The car's internal sensors are used by a lot more people. Nissan's VDC system is intended to maintain the vehicle's stability in both oversteering and understeering situations. Following data analysis, the car's computer assists the driver in staying on course by modifying the traction control and stability. It keeps your automobile from losing traction by using braking pressure, keeping it steady on uneven roads and terrain. Turn off the VDC if you find yourself in a position where you are stuck in the mud, snow, or a pit. Because of the VDC system's automatic power reduction, it is challenging for your automobile to get through these scenarios. What causes a VDC light to illuminate? 1. Faulty Wheel Sensors Every modern and technologically advanced car has an electrical control unit system, which functions much like the computer for your car. The AQ makes the decision on when to use your car's stabilizing and traction control after receiving the data from the wheel sensors. However, factors like dirt and excessive wheel damage could wear or damage the wheel speed sensors. This may prevent the sensors from sending the AQ all the information it needs to process the data further. 2. Faulty Steering Angle Sensors These sensors function as to gauge the wheel's angle while you drive. But because of where they are, the sensors could malfunction. The VDC light will turn on if the sensors malfunction or become polluted with debris. You will observe that this can still occur while you are driving on flat terrain without the need for further traction control. 3. Faulty Alternator As you are aware, all of the systems installed inside your cars, such as the AQ and VDC, require power or energy to function. And the vehicle's alternator provides them with that electricity. Recharging the car's battery, which supplies electricity for all of the electrical systems to operate as intended, is the alternator's responsibility. Therefore, having an alternator problem is a major issue that needs to be fixed right away. Faulty abs. The abs in every car does the crucial job of applying brakes to the wheel. In order to improve vehicle stability and ensure that the VDC system is functioning properly, you should routinely check for malfunctioning abs. The car's abs is located close to the engine and is operated by a number of circuit boards. However, on occasion, an overheated engine might generate an extremely hot environment to fry a circuit, harming your car's abs module. This is a very serious issue because the failure of the brake system would prevent your car from coming to a proper halt. Therefore, it would be great if you didn't waste any time having a reliable mechanic fix it. How to fix the problem risen from VDC off-light system? You must first identify the issue before you can fix the VDC light. However, you must replace the sensor if the VDC light is on as a result of a faulty one. You can occasionally save money by cleaning the sensors. To make sure everything is operating as it should, a mechanic will also examine the wiring of the sensors. It may take longer and be more difficult to replace the steering rack. Additionally, a qualified programmer must reprogram the AQ. Checking the brake fluid level and topping it up if necessary is the simplest approach to remedy a VDC light. If you find this video interesting subscribe for more.